Friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about binomial expansion, and um, basically, I'll be talking about the general formula for positive integer. So, suppose we have two variables, let me just say we have two variables x and y, right? And we have two variables x and y, and we are asked to maybe we are, we are giving it in form of, let me just say, let's just say um, two variables x and y, and they are natural number. Right? So, if x and y are natural number and the power of n, the power of n is equal to 1, that's positive. Let me just say it's positive. Maybe positive 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Right? So, the following formula holds true. The formula is actually whenever you have x plus y, all raised power of n. And x plus y raised power of n, and the power of n is what is equal to 1. You understand? Is equal to one. Or let me just say, positive of all integer. It is positive of all, all integer. Don't forget that we can actually apply Pascal triangle, and it is going to work, right? It is going to work if you apply Pascal triangle. But Pascal triangle doesn't. Uh, let me just say, it takes time. You understand what I'm saying? It takes time whenever we want to use it to um, expand a binomial expression that have largest power. Or let me just say, high power, large power. You understand? There's room between. You have an x plus 1, x plus, let me just say y, all this power of 2. This is actually different from what x plus y, all this power of 20. If they ask you to expand x plus y, all this power of 20, it will, it will actually take time for you to apply Pascal triangle, right? And simply, you can actually use this general formula for any binomial expression in which the integer is positive. Now, let's just go ahead and derive it. Here, we're going to have x plus y. All raised power of n. This is actually the same thing as well as x raised power of n, right? Then plus n combination one. We are going to have this to be x raised power of n minus one. Our the value of n x here is going to decrease. Then y is going to what is going to increase, which is one. Then plus we are going to have after n combination one, we are going to have n combination two. Then we are going to have this to be x raised power what, of n minus two. That means the power of n is what x is decreasing by what, by two here. Then that means our y we actually increase right that means why we brought two then plus this is going to be n completion theory then followed by x n raised power of minus theory if x decreases by if the power of x decreases by theory then power of y is going to what increases by theory then we are going to have this to what plus another time of two n combination we are going to have to be n combination r up to n combination y then we are going to have to be x is power of n minus r then we are going to have then y raised power r plus y raised power n exactly plus so this is just it. So this is the general formula. But one thing I want you guys to know is that as far as Pascal triangle is concerned, we find we were able to derive that Pascal triangle was derived from us from the binomial expression and the coefficient of each each term that are present in the binomial expansion. Right? So what I'm saying is that as far as this is concerned, n completion one, right? n condition 2, n condition 3, and also n condition r, they are the coefficients that are found in Pascal triangle. Exactly. And don't forget that as far as the combination, or uh, let me just say, combinatorial expression is concerned, whenever we have n combination r, it's simply n factorial divided by what? n minus r, right? Factorial r factorial. Exactly. So now I'm going to use this expression to simplify this formula further. So now, if I'm having n completion, uh, n completion 1, so if I'm having n completion 1, right, and n completion 1 is simply, this is going to be n factorial divided by what? n minus 1, right, then factorial, then here I'm going to have this to be what? That's what? 1 factorial, which is equal to, you look at this area, I'm going to have this expression to be, that's n factorial divided by what? This is going to be uh, n minus 1 factorial. So now, I can just recall. Right? I can simplify my n factorial. I can write it as well as n into bracket n minus 1 factorial. Then if I should just say if n factorial equals to n into bracket n minus 1 factorial, then I can just put it here. Then I'm going to have this word n into bracket n minus 1 factorial divided by what? Here is going to be n minus 1 factorial. So here this cancel this, right? Then I'm going to have this word n. Exactly. This is actually n. So now it shows as the coefficient of x and y here in this case is actually what n. That means I can actually have this word x is the power of n plus n 
x is power of n minus 1 and also y is power of, of 1. But before I go into this, I need to simplify all this. I just want to I just want to remind you guys, if you have been to watch my combination and permutation videos, kindly pause this one right now and go back there and watch it. Because uh, basically, the foundation of binomial expansion is actually uh, combination and also factorial and permutation as well. So let's go ahead and, and simplify this. Whenever we have n combination 2, that's actually n factorial divided by well, that's going to be n minus 2, right? Factorial, then 2 factorial. This is the same thing as writing, you know, the same thing. If this is actually, I can just recall that this n factorial can also be written as n into bracket n minus 1, then n minus 2 factorial. Then put this here, I'm going to have n into bracket n minus 1, right? Into bracket n minus 2, right? Then divided by what? This is going to be n minus 2 factorial. Factorial, then I'm having two. Is I'm going to have n into bracket n minus one divided by two factorial for n completion two. Now let's move to n completion three. This is going to be equal n factorial divided by what? That's going to be n minus three. Then factorial into bracket what? That's three factorial, right? Then which is equal. Now for this, I'm going to have this n factorial to be equal to n into bracket n minus one, n minus what? Minus two. Then also n minus three. Then factorial. Then I'm going to put this. Here. I'm going to have this to be that's actually n into bracket n minus 1 into bracket n minus 2 then followed by n minus 3 factorial all the value what is going to be n minus 3 factorial then 3 factorial so here i'm going to have this deleted then i'm going to have the experience to be n into bracket n minus 1 into bracket n minus 2 into, that's the value what that's going to be 3 factorial so now for n combination 4 now n combination that's going to be what n into bracket n minus 1 n minus 2 then n minus 3 divided by what for factorial that's how it goes then up to n combination what n combination r and whenever we have n combination r just as what as n factorial divided was n minus r factorial then we are going to have r factorial then to simplify this very i'm going to have this whole expression to be equal that's n to bracket n minus one then n minus two then up to that's going to be n minus r plus one divided what that's going to be um that's r factorial exactly that's just it. So, but before I leave this, before I end this video, I'm going to solve some questions for you. And as well, I need to simplify this formula as well. So, I must simplify this formula before I leave here. So, now simplifying this formula, I'm going to have this to be, you know, from here, I'm having, that's going to, I'm having, that's x plus y, all this power of, of n, which is equal. Now, I'm having x is power of, of n. Then, after that, the next thing I'm having is, n combination 1, what was n combination 1? It's same as, as writing n. Then I'm going to have this to be plus n x power what? n minus 1, then y raised power what? of 1. Then followed by, here I'm going to have plus, the next thing I'm having is n combination 2. What's n combination 2? n combination is what? It's n into bracket n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial. So here I'm going to have n into bracket n minus 1 divided by what? 2 factorial. Then the x here I'm going to have is what? x is power of n minus 2. Then y raised power of, of 2, then plus n combination 3. n combination is, what is n into bracket n minus 1 into bracket n minus 2, divided by what? 3 factorial, then followed by n raised power what? n minus 3, x is power n minus 3, then y raised power what? 3, then plus some other terms, right? So you say plus some other terms of 2 are exactly. So now, if you look at this very well, we have different terms here. We have the first time to be this, the second time is this, the third time. Then we have the fourth time exactly. So these are the terms that are present in this binomial expansion expression. So now I can just simplify this. You no, know, since I have some here, sum of all terms, I can just call it simply that summation, right? Then I'm going to have n completion r summation n r when r result is r starts from what from that's uh from zero upward, right? Then I'm going to have this to be that's going to be n combination r right then i'm going to have this to be that's going to be i'm um, going to have the first one which is x is power n minus r then i'm going to have y raised power y raised power that's a r exactly so 